Hi, it is November the 6th, 2015. This is Wes Fryer, and in this screencast I'd like to give you a demonstration of how to configure a mobile device manager to install some new apps for an iPad. And so um, what we've got is tomorrow a play date at our school where we're going to be talking about 3D printing and we have these three different apps that are all available free on the iTunes store and I want to load those up on the iPads that we have in our library. And so mobile managers are basically created pretty easily equal. The one that we have to use that we've configured is using Cisco Meraki. Meraki is our wireless network that we have at school and so I'm going to log in to the dashboard of our network here and I'm going to select the um, MDM network which um, I actually named iPad and um, this has all of our um, you know library iPads that that are on here and they've got different tags and so what I need to do is go into under systems manager here under MDM I'm gonna select apps and I'm going to add some apps to our list now if they're paid apps it's gonna look a little bit different but right now I'm just going to talk about free apps. So I'm going to go over here to the upper right corner and I'm going to say I want to add a new iOS app and I can look this up by its ID and so what I have done is I've gone ahead and got the links like this first one's Tinkerplay. I'm going to copy that ID that is the number that starts ID and then it's before the question mark. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and I'm going to say um, I guess look up by ID um, and maybe I just need the number and it doesn't need to say the ID there we go so I've taken out the ID and it's just that number and so here it is Tinkerplay it's free and I'm gonna go ahead and click add now very important here I don't want it to go onto all devices so I'm gonna say it's going to go onto devices that have the following tags and I'm gonna invent one right now called 3d print and so I'm gonna say add that option so that means that once I add this tag 3d print to some of our devices then there it's going to automatically um, push those apps so that they're going to download on those devices now if it was a paid app I would have to actually purchase the volume purchase plan licenses the VPP licenses and I would be selecting that and then I would also be choosing um, whether what kind of uh, VPP license I'm going to do but it's free so I don't have to do that so it's important though that I put in a tag here because if I don't and just say everything then then they're all every, every iPad that's on our MDM is going to get that uh, is going to get that that app um, so it is going to install on devices that have hmm, oh, I didn't go in there 3d printer okay install on devices that have 3d printer And that's interesting. And I wonder why it's not adding that as as a tag. Um, maybe I need to go in here and add the tag first to the apps. I don't know. I'm pretty. Sh I thought I could add it here. Um, Let me go in here to apps, and I've added the app Tinkerplay. Maybe let's see if I can add it here. So I'm going to edit the scope, and I'm going to say I want to add. There's a tag, 3D printer. I want to add that tag. Okay, there it goes. So now the app Tinkerplay has that tag, 3D printer. Okay, great. So I've got four more apps to do. Um, so I've got to do the same thing. I'm going to get the number on the direct link and then I'm going to paste it in look up by ID oh man shoot look at that Blockify is no longer a free app bummer so this one I'm gonna actually have to purchase with volume purchase and I'm gonna have to do that one a little bit later talk on it I think that one used to be free let's hope these other ones are free so I'll go ahead and select it look up by ID I've got to remove the ID number when I look it up 
So there it is, 3DP case. So add it. I'm going to say I want to add it with any of the following tags. And it already has that tag in my system now, so I can just type the first letter of it. And then I'll say save changes. All right, so there it is. Now I'm going to add my, well, it should be my fourth, but it's going to be my third app because it's my third free app. Again, we're going to look up by ID. There it is. It's free. We're going to say install on devices with any of these tags. 3D printer. Save the changes. And then we'll get our last free app here. And we'll go ahead and add that one. Same process. Add it to devices that have the tag 3D printer, okay, and then save changes. Now, <clears throat> there aren't any clients in that scope, which means that nothing has this tag currently. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my clients list, and um, I will filter um, by library. So the, these, this isn't our upper division. This is our, our lower division library. Um, so I'm going to um, say that I just want to see library iPads, and this is interesting. What I really want to do is um, I just uh, I want to um, I don't want well I'll just do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to have to go to the, to the next screen because they're not all being shown, and it's showing me my upper division library as well because I don't I, maybe I should have that one tagged lower division. I've selected those iPads, and so what I want to do is I'm going to add to the scope, and I'm going to um, add 3D printer to those iPads. So I'm going to say add. Now, um, those iPads are tagged both library and 3D printer. I'll go ahead and go to my next page and select all of these. These are the remaining iPads that are in our lower division library, and again, I'm going to say 3D printer, add. And so now that I have added those tags to those printers, um, those iPads are going to automatically download those four apps which I have tagged 3D print. So um, I'm going to need to add, um, all right, they're all there. I, I did consistently tag them the same thing, and then there are those four apps. So those four free apps are now going to push to those uh, lower division library iPads that have that tag of library. Um, and uh, the only remaining thing is for me to go ahead and uh, purchase in uh, the Apple Store the licenses for um, that remaining Blockify app. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration of uh, making a purchase here from the volume purchase program uh, which we've already registered and kind of gotten everything set for and I want to go ahead and purchase an app so I'm going to go ahead and search for the app there it is Blockify um, and so I'm going to go ahead and select this and I have to choose, okay, so these are going to be, if I just would buy one, they're going to be $3.99 each. Um, but if I get an, a larger quantity, shoot, is it not going to discount them at all if I get less? No, nope, I guess not. Um, sometimes it's going to give you a discount if you, if you purchase more. I'm going to choose Manage Distribution because I'm going to uh, manage these within our mobile manager. So I'm going to go ahead and select Manage Distribution. And I'm going to go ahead and say review order. And uh, there it is. I'm going to get 20, 20 licenses and for, for $79.80. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my order. So what I am going to now receive is going to be an email that I can check. All right, so even though I've done this a couple times, uh, it's, it, there's... There's a lot of steps, so I had to refer to this document <clears throat> by Cisco Meraki, which talks about deploying VPP apps. And this is just about how you originally get everything set up with your token, your app licensing. Um, we're doing it a little differently because we're not inviting users to receive the licenses. Um, we are uh, granting them specifically to devices. So we're doing this, deploying iOS devices to systems. 
Um, and so uh, what I uh, needed to do was go here to my systems manager and select my VPP. I actually had to force a sync and this is again after I've made the purchase in the volume purchase program um, it shows up here and then here's Blockify. So what I'm going to do now is edit the scope to uh, tell it um, which iPads I, I want it to go to and so um, I can go ahead and I think what I actually want to do is is add another tag because I I may not put this on every single iPad that has 3D print so instead of um, saying I'm going to add to th to just a 3D printer. I'm going to say add it to devices that have. Um, I think I maybe I'll just put it Blockify since it's a since it's a um, a purchased app. So um, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say. Um, if it has any of these tags, so if it has the tag Blockify, and I want to add that as an option, um, go ahead and add it. Now, I do not have any iPads currently that are tagged that, that are tagged Blockify. So, what I need to do now is I'm going to go back over to my clients. Um, actually, I think this should work. I'm going to go to the there. So here are the 20 clients that are tagged 3D printer and I'm going to go ahead and add another tag to them and I'm going to add the the tag Blockify. Again, it should it should have already been a choice there. Okay. So here it is. So that tag Blockify is now on these these um, iPads. I'm going to go back to my VPP and make sure that I've got that tag on here for Blockify. I need to say that to Auto Grant. Yep, Auto Grant licenses to user in scope. Okay, apply changes. All right. So now, um, because I have added the tag Blockify to those th those 20 iPads, and I have said I want you to Auto Grant um, that license. Um, to any devices that have that tag, then the Blockify app should auto install and push to those iPads. All right, so there's actually one more step that I need to do here, uh, important step. I do have to add that app, Blockify, um, here in my apps list. So just like I did before with my free apps, I'm gonna go here and say I'm adding a new app. I'm gonna search for it, and it's gonna be Blockify. Uh, so there it is. I'm going to say I'm going to add this. Um, and then here is where I go ahead and say that how I'm going to be assigning it with VPP. Now, I didn't buy codes because we're using um, the MDM and it's better to, to do either app or device assignment. In this case, I'm going to be doing uh, VPP um, app assignment. And then the licenses I've already, I've already assigned on the VPP page. Um, I'm going to say with the tags, and I made the the tag Blockify um, for for this particular app. So this is important. Um, it's only going to go on devices that have that tag, and I'm using VPP app assignment. If I was doing it, uh, was that right? Yeah, device assignment is going to be something different if I'm doing iOS 9. So I'm just going to go ahead and say app assignment and uh, then I need to save this. So it's showing that I'm going to have 20 clients that are going to meet uh, match that and so it's going to it's going to add it to these 20 after I click save. Haha. <laughs> so important steps to not forget. Um, I hope this is, um, overview has been helpful to you. Um, lots of things with Apple uh, historically have been fairly easy. Um, managing mobile apps is not one of those things that is simple or easy. But there are good benefits to using a mobile device manager. We really like our Cisco Meraki system, not only for wireless and wired network management, but also for mobile device management. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and I wish you luck as you seek to manage your mobile apps using a mobile manager.